Fan HD Production Live here with animation director Kirk Tinglad. Kirk, tell me about your work at Warner Brothers. Well, currently I'm working on two series for uh, Warner Brothers that air on Cartoon Network, the uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated and the new Looney Tunes show. Great. And how did you get into animation? I got into animation, uh, I went to art school out at the Kubert School in New Jersey for a year and learned under former Disney animator Milt Neal. And then I went to college at the University of Minnesota in Duluth where I was uh, editorial cartoonist for the Duluth newspaper and a bunch of different newspapers. And then when I graduated from college, I got a job doing commercials at a little animation studio in Minneapolis called Bages Jones. And we did a lot of you know, local and regional animated commercials for television. And then eventually I got you know, involved in some different things and, and uh, ended up in Chicago working for a, a studio called Star Tunes that we were doing, uh, we were animating episodes of Tiny Toons and uh, Animaniacs. Oh, cool. And I was a big fan, by the way, Animaniacs. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, after that, work dried up. Uh, almost everybody from the staff at Star Tunes ended up coming out here looking for work. And a lot of us ended up working on uh, Space Jam, the Michael Jordan yeah. movie. Yeah. I wrote a bunch of jokes for that and, and did uh, storyboards and, and animation posing for that and then I went on to direct on uh, Pinky and the Brain and after that Johnny Bravo and a whole bunch of other stuff for Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers. And Great and when you say animation director what exactly does that entail? Well an animation director is kind of like a, a live action director. If you can picture a live action director before a shot is set up going and talking to the actors and telling them what he wants in the shot setting the camera where he wants and it's the same except we tell the drawings what to do okay. instead of the actors. And are you still hands-on with the drawings themselves? Uh, sometimes I do that but a lot of times I'm, I'm uh, more on the technical side of things and, and supervising other things like that. Great. Do you have kids and are they a fan of your work? Oh yeah, I, I've had uh, three kids and one of the great thrills I had with my kids was when I was directing a show I'd bring home a storyboard and then I'd sit down and read the storyboard, you know, acting out all the parts yeah. to my boys to see how they would react to them. And you get a really good gauge because they were right at the right age at the time. And, um, and they got a little treat because then they knew what was going to be in the cartoon, you know, like eight, nine months before all their friends were. That's awesome. Great. And what's next for you? What do you see coming up? Well, we're still working on the, on the shows at Warner Brothers. And um, I'm also... I've uh, co-written a script with a friend of mine, um, Lonan Smith, who is a, a live action writer for episodic television. And uh, we wrote a horror movie together that we're turning into a graphic novel. And we're working with a, a really talented uh, young artist from Phoenix named John West, who's gonna be uh, penciling it for us. Right. And is there a title that we can look out for on that? It's called The King of Luck. And what was it like to win the Emmy for Pinky and the Brain? Well, it's kind of fascinating because the Emmys is kind of like the prom for grown-ups. Everybody's all dressed up and, you know, you're, you're not really, you know, the animation people, we get stuck in the back. <laughs> all the stars are in the front, so you feel like the unpopular kids and stuff. But I, I were, we were nominated like a bunch of times, we never won. So we would go to them all the time and just, you know, goof off and stuff, and then finally we won. It was just stunned. I didn't really know. It's like my wife had to push me out of the chair to get up and go get it right. and stuff. I, I, it was pretty amazing. And, uh, you know, it's a great big trophy you get. <laughs> it's yeah. heavy. And the, one of the neatest things about it is everybody knows what it is. Uh, the night we won, when we finally got home, my kids stayed up. And they were all excited, but they didn't really know what it was. And then, like, about two years later, I was working, and uh, they happened to be in the room and the Today Show was on, and they were announcing the Emmy nominees for the next year, and they were going through this list, and the kids were sitting there, and uh, they were talking about the Emmys, and the kids were just kind of staring at the TV, and I went up to the mantle, and I took mine off the mantle, and I said, you see all those TV stars? They want what your dad has. <laughs> and they were just like, wow. <laughs> It's always good when well, you can impress kids. That was yeah. a pretty cool moment. Cool. Great. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck with the King of Luck and everything at Warner Brothers. Well, thank you, Katie. Great. 
I'm Katie Ellman reporting for TTN HD Production Live. Oh, oh, oh.